Howdy! I'm CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to be talking about how to do HD and big Atlas projects in Blockbench. Yes, after a few updates ago, Blockbench changed how the memory system works per tab, and there is some restrictions that make performance of HD and big stuff not work very well. So let's just look at this. This is this is something I'm working on. This is in Bedrock. We're in Minecraft right now. I know. I know you don't believe me. I know you don't believe me, but we are. And so we're going to go and we're going to say, well, look at all of these fancy textures. How in the world, Cyberax, are you... Get now docking at Earth's spaceport. Fancy detailed textures in the block bench without a whole bunch of performance issues and waiting for it to just lag itself out. So now let's docking jump at Earth's spaceport. And let's look at this picture in block bench. And I'm going to show you opening it up. And you're going to see one, because this is on um, the player's head or the viewport, all of these textures and all of this stuff is in the player. And so every time you pull up block bench, it pulls them all up. Now it's doing better loading them today. Some days it just one line at a time all the way down, right? So we want this guy. Oh, sorry. We want this guy right here. So we're going to bring him in. And you can see how long this is taking. Okay, so this is full quality. In CyberX, ah, that's me. I like to develop it full quality. I don't want none of that pixel stuff when I'm doing my development. I want everything to look sharp and fancy. Well, you can see at 10,000 by 10,000, which is what I normally have my atlases at, it, we start moving around and doing stuff, but once we get too far in here, we do too much, it's just going to stop reacting very well. Now, Jan this is the beta, <clears throat> and Janice has been working on making it better, but look at the, the whole app just died, um, just pulling up about, you know, that's not a normal reaction. Um, so you can kind of see how performance just really stops, starts to get bad and drop, and it, it'll get to the point where it just it won't even respond. Um, you know, you'll click on something to go, like there. I mean, that the, that was like three seconds between clicking over here and selecting something in the image. So. How do we fix this? How do we uh, make Blockbench work well? Well, what we do is we open this guy up. <clears throat> He's going to bring us over to our folder where we got all of our atlases. And all we're going to do is we're going to use the resize tool. And you could do this however you want. I just have the, the um, Power Tools resizer. And I'm just going to resize this image without replacing it. I don't want to replace the original. I just want to resize it down to a more suitable size. So this is one-tenth of what this is. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this in to block bench, and I'm going to delete that guy. So what this is called is it's called a proxy. So what we've done is we made a proxy image. And this is how Adobe and, and uh, Premiere and lots of applications um, do this stuff. They downgrade what you're working in so it's super fast, you know, so it's really responsive. And then uh, in the game, the game's using the full quality file. But because Blockbench has a memory issue per tab, loading that full image into Blockbench causes all kinds of problems. So instead, I end up just doing my design work in a lower resolution. Now that sucks because look at the, I mean, look at the difference between the resolutions, but it allows me to have a nice fluid experience 
um, and I don't have to worry about it. I, I have requested a feature to get a proxy option where you could just like right click it or something, but um, at this point in time, we just don't have those abilities. And so the best option is just to downsize the image yourself, do all the editing. Now, the key here is you can't edit this. Um, you can edit the UVs, all that, because the size is the same. The whole point is as long as the, the ratio is the same, it doesn't matter if this is 64 by 64 or, you know, 100,000 by 100,000, it'll still have the UV in the same places. They just scale. So you could downgrade this to 512 or 256 and keep downgrading it, and it just downgrades everything. That's no big deal. Um, but I can't come in and start painting. Because if I paint, I'm painting on this proxy version. I'm not painting on the original. So if you want to re-add stuff, you instead modify the original. Um, and, you know, I do mine in Illustrator. So I'm not doing my... I, I do very little painting in Blockbench, uh, mainly because of this type of stuff. So instead, most of my art is all done through Illustrator, and that's how I just set all of these on the Atlas. And then um, I can do all my special effects, you know, all of the graphical effects and stuff like that that I need inside Illustrator. So, you know, in one version, we change his clothes. And so I just come in and change it on the Atlas. And then that way I can swap out any of these images at any point for each of the different Atlases I want. And that gives me more control over what I can do because there's a lot of missing features in paint for doing more complex stuff. If you're just painting, then it's fine. But if you're doing Illustrator or any of the other vector-based stuff, then you don't have all of the text and all the lines and hey, I need to put text in here. I need to put whatever. Um, so I do that in Illustrator. I export it from Illustrator and then I make a smaller version of it. And then that smaller version of it is what I use in the software to keep the performance really high. If you're doing a big project where you have 100 files or 50 files or 25 textures, a whole bunch of them, this also may be really helpful to downgrade them so that they can all load better. So that's it. I'm CyberX, the wonderfully crafted, and this has been Hell. Oh, how cyber do you do HD in big projects and block bands without performance issues? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell. Oh, keep those YouTube overlords happy so we can keep growing. And that's all. You know, keep, keep creating. Keep making your stuff. Uh, put in a comment if you have any questions or you'd like to see other guides.